Hey everyone, this is Darren with Crazy Minnow Studio, and welcome back to the next video in the Salsa Lip Sync Suite Version 2 tutorial series. I think this is video number 7. We're going to discuss the audio source in a little bit more detail and the options that are available to it. So, uh, as we see right now, we have the audio source linked that uh, I believe we got this one from the one click, but ordinarily, let me go ahead and uh, delete this. If you were setting this up from scratch, you would see there's no audio source on here. Uh, let me go ahead and take this script off. That's not supposed to be on there just yet. Basically, we've got add audio source, as we saw in the previous video. So if we click that, we get an audio source, and then if it's already there, then and we don't have anything linked, then we get the option to link it. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove that. And we see that we have these two options. Wait for audio source and use external analysis. Let's discuss wait for audio source. What does that mean? If we click this, we see everything turns blue, but there is no audio source here. So what Salsa is going to do on start is wait for an audio source to appear on this game object. And we see that we also get another option here that is a target. And this can be any other game object. So if we wanted to, we could wait for an audio source to appear, say, on this main camera or this directional light. And we'll demonstrate that in just a second. What we need is to be able to apply an audio source to this game object at runtime to see this actually work. And I've written a small script here called add audio source that will add an audio source to this when we click this little button. It's actually not a button, it's just a boolean value, but we're going to treat it like a button. So let's edit script. And I'm not saying this is how this should be done. This is just to demonstrate. So we have our class here, add audio source. We've created a boolean to act as our button. And in our update, we're going to see if this boolean is true. And if it is true, we are going to check to see if an audio source is on the game object already. And if it's not, we'll go ahead and add one. Then we'll reset our boolean. All right, so if this all works, then what should happen is once we are in and we're playing, which we are right now, we see there's nothing going on, and we see that we still don't have an audio source, and there's not one on this. So let's go ahead and click this button here. And now we get an audio source, and we notice that it's also automatically linked up the audio source on this object. And then we can play. There's nothing actually on this audio source right now. There's no clip. That would probably be in your code as well, uh, but we could play. Now let's demonstrate waiting for an audio source on a different object. Let's go ahead and move this to, uh, right, let me just add a new object here. I'll create an empty, and then uh, we'll go ahead and put this on that object instead. So we don't have it here, and uh, we do have it here. Okay. If I leave it the way it is right now, it's still going to be looking for an audio source on this game object. So what we need to do is go ahead and link up this target. So now it's going to be looking for the audio source on this game object here. Let's go ahead and start. And we see that we still don't have an audio source. That's because there isn't one here. Let me go ahead and add another inspector in here. This way we can see both of them at the same time. Let's go ahead and lock this one to there. All right. So on this one, and we're still waiting for this audio source on this game object. So once I click this, I add the audio source and then it links up. And if we look, we're, we're looking for it on this particular object. Now that's pretty much everything there is to waiting for an audio source. Okay, now the next option here is use external analysis. Now what does that mean? Basically, Salsa processes the audio source itself. But there might be times where we want to feed data into Salsa to either simulate lip sync or provide analysis from some other means. So why would we want to do that? Well, one might be, say, our text to lip sync option where we don't really have any audio, but we want to see lip sync. So what we would do is enable this and then our text to lip sync actually feeds values into Salsa and it causes it to animate. So how would we do that? First off, let's go ahead and I've created a shell for a script here. It's called feed external analysis. And basically it's just a shell. And we'll do the same thing here. We will set up a public bool called is feeding. And initially it's going to be false. And in our update, we are going to say if 
is feeding stuff we need to also grab a reference to salsa we'll just do salsa salsa and then in start we'll grab a reference to this get component of type salsa what we will do is provide salsa and so what we want to do is go to our documentation and we will look at the API and we will search for external analysis. Okay, so this is the value that we want to feed, our analysis value. If we go back to our code, we will say analysis value will equal, and this should be a float from zero to one, we will just create a random range from 0 to 1. Okay, now what will happen is this will be generating every frame, and that's overkill, and this is just to demonstrate. But what Salsa will do on the other side, let's go ahead and save this, is it will only be looking at this, if you remember in our settings, I think it was a couple of videos ago on this update delay. So it's only going to be actually pulling that value every uh, eight one hundredths of a second. Okay. So feed external analysis. When I enable this, it will be feeding. When I don't enable this, it will not be feeding. Actually, there's one other thing we may want to set here. So if we're feeding, we're going to be feeding random values. Otherwise, we are going to set this, let's duplicate this, and we'll set it to zero. That way we get basically silence out of it. All right, save that again, and then let's come back over here. So we're going to use external analysis, which means that Salsa will be waiting. Everything's good, everything's blue. We switched, uh, we don't need to actually provide an audio source. So let's go ahead and hit play, and we will look at our value here, and we see that the value is zero. I don't really need this on here anymore. Close tab. So we're not feeding yet. Once I start feeding, you'll see lip sync starts, and we're getting a value here. If we click on this, then we can see a little VU meter. And if I stop feeding, it goes to silence. So all these values are coming from this script. Salsa is not analyzing anything. We also have this option to scale external analysis. So uh, by default, the external analysis is not scaled. And we discussed this in the last video on dynamics. So if we want to scale this, now we see we've got much bigger value, much bigger movement here. And that's because we're set at 0.75. So basically, we're scaling all of these values. And you see we're hitting a lot of red now, which means it's hitting one or higher. So if I turn that off, then we don't. If I turn it on, then we do. And we can adjust that even more. So we can see that it's peaking a lot, nearly all the time. So we set it back to one. That's basically the same thing as turning this off. And we see we're getting just a smooth set of values from zero to one, random. We have a couple of add-ons that use external analysis. One is text to lip sync and the other is dissonance. There might be one or two others. Anytime you want to do analysis externally and feed that to Salsa, you would use this option. And I believe that pretty much wraps up this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.